driving is an extraordinarily satisfying activity for those who choose to invest in it. Now we're at the dawn of driverless cars, and we're about to redefine that dramatically. And as we give over control of our mobility, we may be giving over more than we realize. That's what we're looking at for the future of cars. I remember when this was science fiction, and here we are. I thought technical objects could have a sense of vision and do their own decisions. People thought I'm crazy. Oh, dear Jesus, I could never, ah! Now autonomous truck's gonna take my job. I just don't think we're ready for it yet. No matter what, there will always be nostalgists. They want to live in a log cabin and drive a 74 Camaro. <laughs> we didn't evolve to spend an hour and a half every day sitting in a metal box. This is technology to give people back time. The question is, how much will we allow machines to screw up? What is our threshold for that? There are significant costs to the individual and significant benefits to society at large. There's a lot to be excited about, and you need to know what's coming. Yeah, come on, that was freaking awesome. Let's see the autonomous car do that. <laughs>